Hey, what's up, everybody? It is April 21st, 2020, which means we are ready for TNT today. Hey, just want to clarify a couple things real quick. There's been uh, some of you reaching out and you're like, hey, Corey, why, why all the kitchen stuff? Well, we all have a kitchen and a lot of us have like kitchen utensils and pots and pans and all that good stuff. And that's why I'm going to it right now. Obviously, with distance learning, that's happening. I'm trying to find those things at home that students can go out there and possibly model. So I know we're going to have all the kitchen gadgets maybe we don't have all the garage and tooling stuff so you know we might get to that later on but right now let's just focus on a lot of things i know that we probably have so anyway with that being said let's go ahead and continue on today with our household items and i just have a muffin pan yeah muffin pan cupcake pan whatever you want to call this that's what we are going to be modeling today um, with the old ied curriculum there was actually a lunch tray and it used a lot of the same basics of what you're going to find here today as we we're making the muffin pan so let's go ahead and let's get started so i'm going to go out there and just create a new standard inch ipt and just like so, I'm going to start a 2D sketch, pick on a work plane, and I'm going to come out here. I'm going to be using our two-point center rectangle, starting this from the origin. And the dimensions I found on this were like 10.5 by 7 and a quarter. So 10 and a half by 7 and a quarter. So we have that. I'm going to go ahead and finish the sketch. And I'm going to go ahead and just extrude that out to a distance of 0 0.0625, so about a 16th of an inch. Okay, so the top of this thing, when taking a look at it, we have fillets here, these big rounded over corners, um, and those have a radius of about two inches. So I'm just gonna come out here and apply that radius of two inches here to every single corner, just like so. And it's just going to round that out, and that is what the top of that muffin pan is gonna look like. I'm gonna go ahead and just say okay. All right, so now we have that done, I'm gonna go ahead and start a 2D sketch on this face right here. I'm gonna go ahead and just draw a circle. And that circle needs to have a diameter of uh, 2.75, just like so. And I'm gonna go ahead and just dimension the center point of that circle to the outside edge. That needs to be two inches. And then from here to here, this also needs to be two inches as well. So once I had that, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the sketch. <clears throat> I'm now going to come out here and I'm going to start a 2D sketch, but I'm, when I come here to the face, I'm going to pick, hold, and drag, and I'm going to be bringing this out a distance. I believe it's like one and a quarter, okay, just like so. And uh, okay, so I'm on that sketch, so I'm going to go ahead and just project some geometry through. I'm just going to pull that point out. I can bring the whole circle if I want, but I want to come in here and I want to draw this circle, and that has a diameter of two. I'm going to go ahead and finish the sketch. Okay, so now that that is done, I'm going to come out here and go to loft, and I'm going to pick on my first sketch, making sure that the center of that has been highlighted. I'm going to click and add another section. I'm going to grab that circle, and now I'm going to go ahead and just say OK. All right, so now that I have that done, I'm going to come out here and go to fillet, and I want my fillet radius to change to like an eighth of an inch. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that fillet to that edge and that edge and say OK. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to my rectangular pattern and I'm going to be making sure I grab everything. So that's going to be the extrusion, the fillets, everything. I'm going to go up, come here to direction one. I'm going to be picking on this edge right here. And I'm going to say I want there to be three of these. If you have to use the flip-flop, go ahead and use the flip-flop. And the distance between those needs to be 3.25, just like so. I'm going to come here to direction two. I'm going to be picking this edge. I need uh, for there to be two of those rows and then once again the distance needs to be 3.25 I'm gonna go ahead and say okay and now I have <clears throat> all those muffin parts that are on the bottom of that pan and I'm gonna go ahead and just clean this up by just turning off this work plane so we can sort of see what we have all right so that is what we have so far okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just flip this over I'm gonna come here go to shell and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my thickness in a 0.0625 and I'm going to come in here, pick the top and I'm going to remove the face and say OK. And now what that is going to do is show you the insides of those little individual uh, muffin sections. OK, so when we take a look at this, and I don't know if you can see this or not, but we can see that there is a rounded over lip. OK, is like uh, when they originally sort of created this, they stamped it and then they folded that over just like so. So we're going to go out there and just recreate the same sort of thing. So what I'm going to do is 
is I'm going to come out here and go to my origin folder. I'm going to be looking for the plane that goes right down through the center of it, looking just like that. I'm going to right click and go ahead and turn the visibility on. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start the 2D sketch okay, right there on top of that plane. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and flip this around like so. I'm going to right click, go ahead and slice graphics back. And this is what I need to be looking for right here. So I'm going to go ahead and just project some geometry. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to start a circle. I'm just going to bring it right below this. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just take that circle up here to the top, just like so. I'm going to start from the same center point, draw another circle, and bring it to that point. And that means it's going to be wrapping all the way around. Okay, so now that we have that, I'm going to go ahead and just draw a line. I'm going to start it from the center point. I'm going to take it right over here to where that intersection is that you see right there. I'm going to go ahead and just draw a line starting here from the top and go down to here. And now I'm going to go ahead and start trimming out what I don't need, which leaves us with that right there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish that sketch up. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and flip this around where I can sort of see that. And I'd say at this point, if you need to, go ahead and just set that as your current or your uh, home view. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and come out here and go to Sweep. I'm going to come out there and find that profile I just created just a second ago. I'm going to go to my red arrow for my path. And then that's just going to sweep that all the way around. I'm going to go ahead and say OK. I'm going to go ahead and just start turning off some work planes. OK, and there we go. Check it out. That is the muffin pan, just like that. And we can see it. That lip is there. So there you go. All right, so that's a really great way to go out there, sort of investigate um, a couple different things, but uh, the first one being, you know, rectangular pattern and then shell. This is awesome. If you go out there and just, you know, basically turn your shell thickness into the same original extrusion distance, which was 0.0625, it's going to go out there and just shell out those internal pockets. Uh, and like I said at the beginning, really good one with sweep as well. You can take that lip around the outside and just sweep that all the way around just by using the existing profile. So that is a muffin pan. Okay. Um, yeah, just for creating muffins, cupcakes, whatever. And that's it on how you create it with uh, Inventor. So, all right. Thanks for joining me for this uh, or today's TNT today. Take care of yourself. I'll see you soon.